Black holes are without a doubt some of the most fascinating structures in the vast expanses of the universe. These most massive of structures in the universe are said to be cosmic omnivores, devouring any information, radiation, and matter that crosses their path. Find out what we've learned so far about these massive objects and what actually happens when two of these gravity monsters collide in today's video. Want to learn more about the breathtaking spectacles and exciting discoveries in the universe on a regular basis? Then remember to subscribe to our channel to join us on our journey to the greatest mysteries of the universe. By giving us a thumbs up, you're showing us that we can keep you engaged with the content of our videos. Black Holes – A Brief Overview What characterizes black holes is their incomparably compact concentration of mass. In fact, the corresponding mass is compressed to such a small volume that, as a result of this compactness, immensely strong gravitational fields are created which cannot even be penetrated by light rays. Thereby, the outer sphere of influence of a black hole is called the event horizon. How enormous the cosmic forces are becomes clear if we consider that nothing can cross the event horizon of a black hole from the inside to the outside, no matter whether radiation, matter, or any other form of information. Everything that has passed the event horizon of one of these gravity monsters is irretrievably devoured. In detail, even in the world of black holes, great differences exist. There are different classes and various formation mechanisms. Thus, stellar black holes are formed when a star of a certain size has used up its internal fuel and finally collapses. While the outermost layers of a dying star are ejected in a supernova, the remaining core collapses into an incomparably compact body body due to gravitational pressure. How this compactness is reflected in reality can be easily understood with an example. A hypothetical black hole with the mass of our Sun would have an event horizon with a diameter of only about 4 miles. And this, although the current diameter of the Sun, amounts to nearly 1 million miles. The extreme end of this galactic spectrum, however, is formed by supermassive black holes. As the name of these structures suggests, they outdo their less massive counterparts many times over and often have solar masses millions to billions of times greater. How such massive monsters are formed in detail is still an unsolved mystery. What is certain, however, is that supermassive black holes grace the centers of galaxies, where they play a central role in their evolution. When Black Holes Merge it has been only a few years since terrestrial astronomers recorded one of the most stunning discoveries in recent research history by measuring gravitational waves. In detail, researchers identified in the context of their investigations the most intense, most distant, and most convoluted black hole collision to date. It was one of the two gravity monsters which merged billions of years ago, in particular, that caused utter befuddlement amongst scientists. In fact, until this discovery, experts had assumed that such a massive black hole was far too enormous to be involved in such a fusion process. In fact, the mass of this object was 85 times greater than that of our Sun. Until then, the experts could not even say with absolute certainty whether stellar black holes of these dimensions existed at all. In the end, experts assumed that a new black hole was created in the course of the collision, one that has almost 150 solar masses. In view of this sensational galactic discovery, even the most experienced researchers were deeply impressed. The existence of the identified structure confirms above all the existence of black holes of middle mass. These objects are much more massive than ordinary stars, but far less gigantic than the supermassive black holes we typically find at the center of galaxies. The discovery of this special black hole, which is the result of a cosmic merger, was made with the help of the Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory, or LIGO. The data were completed by the information collected by the Virgo Observatory in Italy. In fact, gravitational waves could be measured directly for the first time during the collision of the two black holes. These are waves in space-time triggered by an accelerated mass. 
As the gravitational waves pass through a region of space, they briefly stretch and compress its distances. By studying the properties of these waves, experts are able to draw important conclusions about the nature of the objects that generated them. In fact, the study of black holes could be revolutionized in this way. In the course of the above-mentioned merger, three solar masses of energy were produced and emitted in the form of gravitational waves. The Origin Mystery the original masses of the two black holes, which were reconstructed by the researchers, did not mesh with those stellar gravity monsters that develop in a conventional way. The common theories say that in the context of a star collapse, no black holes could develop between 65 and 120 solar masses. This is due to the fact that stars of a certain size become so hot in their center during the last part of their life that a process called pair instability starts there. This means the conversion of extremely energetic photons to electron-positron pairs, which is caused by a gravitational instability. At the end of this phenomenon, there is finally the explosive fusion of oxygen nuclei, in the course of which the star is literally torn apart and completely collapses. However, a look at the scientific data shows that the intrinsic masses of the fused black holes between 85 and 66 solar masses was in exactly that mass gap. Since the actual circumstances did not agree with the usual theories, experts looked for explanations in order to arrange the measurements into a plausible context. One theory says that they were so-called primordial black holes, which means that the corresponding formations have existed since the beginning of time. The corresponding thesis, according to which some black holes already formed shortly after the Big Bang, has been discussed among experts for quite some time. Another hypothesis is based on the fact that the two black holes were already the result of previous mergers. This might explain why the objects had masses incompatible with the laws of pair instability. Thus, stellar black holes could in principle cluster in dense star clusters and theoretically merge repeatedly. Even though such a scenario seems extremely logical at first, it's overshadowed by large technical questions. Our current knowledge about the fusion of black holes says that the structures formed during the fusions receive a kind of galactic thrust due to gravitational waves and are literally thrown out of their ancestral star cluster. Only in the rarest cases would a newly formed black hole remain in a region where other potential fusion partners are located. The situation is somewhat different in areas where gravity is strong enough to prevent the black holes from receding, such as in the densely populated central regions of galaxies. In the case of the merger registered by the experts, however, it's not known in which galaxy the corresponding merger once took place. However, experts found a quasar in the vicinity of the black hole. This is the active core of a galaxy, which appears almost point-like in the visible light spectrum. As in practically all known cases, there is also a supermassive black hole in the center of this galaxy. In the course of their detailed investigation of this region, the scientists again came across a striking detail. About a month after the merged black hole, its supermassive counterpart in the galaxy's core also experienced a tumultuous burst of radiation. Despite the short time span between these two events, however, astronomers are exercising cautious restraint when it comes to placing the phenomena in a definitive context. Further Discoveries as we mentioned earlier, the study of black holes using the gravitational wave survey opens up entirely new possibilities. The boost given to the astronomical research world by this new approach is also evidenced by the fact that, with the help of LIGO and Virgo, experts recently succeeded in identifying 35 events in which gravitational waves were generated. It's commonly believed that 32 of these events are due to the merger of two black holes. The remaining events were likely more rare collisions in which black holes collided with neutron stars or some other type of compact object. In the course of these exciting discoveries, virtually the entire mass spectrum of black holes was covered. As a result, experts came to realize that galactic fusion can exist in a wide variety of sizes and combinations. While the comprehension of these events will help to unravel some mysteries in the universe, other cases, however, raise new questions. These include a constellation in which a massive black hole collided with a very low-mass neutron star. The corresponding neutron star, which had about 1.2 solar masses, was one of the lowest masses of its kind ever observed. 
with gravitational wave observatories. In fact, this was the first merger of a black hole with a neutron star ever detected by our terrestrial instruments. Although binary systems of black holes and neutron stars constantly orbiting each other have been predicted for quite some time, such a constellation could never be observed directly until now. Now it's your turn. What do you think about the fascinating discoveries of astronomers? Go ahead and write us your thoughts, your suggestions, and your feedback to today's video in the comments. Finally, feel free to take a look at the other exciting posts on our channel, which you can access by clicking on one of the images in the credits now. Thanks for your interest, take care, and we'll see you next time.